tablets. In this video, we'll be making this tablet stand in Fusion 360. Depending on where you've been for the past week, you should have heard about Autodesk's changes to the personal license for Fusion 360. As of the 1st of October, there are a number of changes to what functionality that will be available in the application. As a result, we'll be taking a look at another CAD application to see if it's worth the switch. In this video, we'll be making this tablet stand in FreeCAD. Like Fusion 360, FreeCAD is capable of dealing with 3D printing, laser cutting, and CNC workflows. In addition, FreeCAD is available on Windows, Macintosh, and also Linux. So any good project starts off with a bit of measuring. So first thing we want to do is take the measurements of the tablet, its height, its width, and also its thickness. We also have to consider what it's being mounted to. So the post also needs a quick measurement taken. Once we have all of that, we can do a quick sketch of approximately what we're gonna design in the CAD application. So once you've downloaded and installed FreeCAD, it looks vaguely familiar, but not at the same time. Now I've been using Fusion 360 for a couple of years now. I would consider myself a reasonable user and competent to the point where I can complete the tasks that I need to for my projects. When you go into FreeCAD, the first thing you need to do is to go into part design, which is drop down in the middle, and then create a new body. And once you've created a new body, you are able to start creating sketches that define that body. In the center of the sketch window, you have your primitives, so you can create all the different sorts of geometry types that you need for sketching. On the right-hand side, you have all of your constraints, all the sort of stuff you would see within Fusion 360. One of the problems I found with FreeCAD is that you had to fully define the object before it would allow you to extrude. Now that was problematic because when you start trimming some of the dimensions and some of the constraints start to delete from the sketch or they become detached from the sketch. So there's a sketch analysis tool which helps you find these sorts of problems but it's not necessarily that intuitive from an end user perspective but ultimately we were able to sketch out a base section and a top section for the tablet stand. Now I would imagine engineers are probably quite used to fully defining sketches but from a hobbyist perspective Fusion 360 is a bit more tolerant to you not fully defining your sketch, which I suppose is a positive and a negative, as is fully defining your sketches. So I was able to sketch out the geometry that I needed to create the cuts to create the slots that will receive the tablet on the lower section and on the upper section. I was also able to create the geometry to create the pocket for the nut and bolt. And then it was just a simple case of exporting the final files when for 3D printing. Right, well there we go. One tablet stand made using 3D printing and FreeCAD. So we're all about ready to jump ship and leave all our Autodesk products behind? Well, not exactly. 
Using FreeCAD, it made it abundantly clear that Autodesk has spent a lot of time and effort into the user interface, making functions within sketches, within extrusions, within Boolean operations, they're really, really simple. So in this project, we've only demonstrated a simple sketch and extrude example. We haven't gone into complex things such as designing threads for the use of functional bolts. That, on my sort of research, looks a little bit more complicated. And for full disclosure, the time lapse that you just saw, that was actually my fourth attempt at trying to get the sketch geometry working with dimensions to fully define the sketch. It was very infuriating to get to that point, but I had to drive through to ensure that the project was completed. So FreeCAD is a viable option, certainly for creating models with 3D printing. I'm definitely be using FreeCAD alongside Fusion 360. In the future, Autodesk may restrict the functionality within Fusion even further. So it's always worth having a backup option. For me now, it's not the time for FreeCAD to become my daily drive. Hopefully you liked this video, and if you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Until the next video, have fun, be safe, and make something cool.